While Tanganyika Wildlife Park has grown over the last several years, uh, there are species that we will never have, like orangutans or killer whales or whatever it might be. So we wanted to give the keepers an opportunity to help support animals that maybe they're really passionate about, but we would never have here at the park. And so that's why we dedicated $40,000 to help go to in-situ programs and let them pick their favorite programs to help support. Um, this year, Tanganyika gave each keeper $1,000 to give to a charity of their choice, and my charity of choice was the International Rhino Foundation. A lot of people go to the zoo just to see the animals, and they don't realize that they are stewards for their species in the wild and what we're doing to help take care of them. Uh, conservation, it's got a lot of different faces. Um, we do conservation here in the zoo by breeding the animals keeping them around, educating people to, um, to the importance of having the animals. If you protect the rhinos, you protect a lot of other species that share the same habitat. The uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020, they're basically building up populations of Indian rhinos in different parks where they can be protected in India, but they weren't really uh, very strong. I chose the Okapi Conservation Project. They do a lot of things. They used to have the Okapis on site at their um, facility in the Congo, um, but after an attack they stopped housing Okapi. And so now they work more with the communities in the area to uh, help protect Okapis in situ. Uh, they also work to help bring in new blood for others who throw Okapis because there are so few. I knew I was going to pick some hoofstock related organizations because that's what I work with and that's what I love. I picked Okapi in particular because I feel like they're less represented in the conservation organizations compared to a lot of the other animals. A lot of conservation organizations are funded a lot through zoos, and not many zoos have Okapi, not many donate to it. To me, it means protecting that you feel should be saved for future generations, so that's through uh, breeding like we do at Tanganyika and keeping population, or that's protecting the habitat that they're from, or just spreading knowledge with other people so that they also want to do So we want to say a big thank you to everyone that supported us. Whether you bought a season pass or, or just donated and adopted an animal online, you helped us make a big difference, not only with the animals here at Tanganyika, but with the animals that we're helping through conservation programs around the world. We hope that you'll come out again this next season to continue supporting us or go online and adopt an animal so that we can support these programs worldwide and help save endangered species.